Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from lunchboxsessions.com. In this video, we will begin to look at the unique functions of the balance style pilot-operated relief valve. In other videos, we examined the basic purpose of a relief valve in a hydraulic system and we looked at the properties and function of a valve that has only one spring and one poppet. That type of relief valve was called a direct acting relief valve. This balance style pilot operated relief valve has, as you can see in both the symbol and the animated cutaway, two poppets and two springs. One of the two springs is adjustable, as indicated on the schematic symbol. The other spring is non-adjustable. The non-adjustable spring is the one that is keeping the main poppet closed against the full system pressure. This is generally a fairly soft spring. In this valve example, we will say that the spring has a stiffness equivalent to 50 psi. The pilot section spring is a smaller and much stiffer spring that can be adjusted to an equivalent of many thousands of PSI. Currently, the relief valve is set to 1000 PSI. Now, let's add bricks to our brake shoe brick stacker on our hydraulic motor. This allows us to induce a higher system pressure. How can it be that a 50 psi spring is keeping the main poppet closed against 900 psi system pressure. Observe that the surface area on the bottom of the poppet is the same or nearly so as the surface area above the poppet. With an open passage from the bottom to the top of the poppet, the pressure is currently the same both above and below. Therefore, only a weak spring is required to keep the poppet in the closed position. Adding a bit more system pressure to our brick stacker finally brings the relief valve inlet above 950 psi, opening the poppet in the upper pilot section of the valve. Notice on the graph that approximately three gallons per minute from our 20 gallon per minute pump are now being diverted back to tank. The main relief poppet is said to be cracked open. As we move the system pressure load slider all the way up to 1000 PSI, we notice that the relief valve opens fully. The main poppet opens up by an amount based on the pressure imbalance above and below due to the pressure drop that occurs as oil passes through the balance orifice and then onward through the pilot poppet. Unlike a direct acting relief valve where the cracking pressure and full flow relief setting pressure may be several hundred psi apart, the balance style pilot operated relief valve has a very narrow pressure override band. The advantage of this type of valve is that it only needs to be set for a pressure slightly higher, 50 psi higher in this case, than the maximum system pressure where normal flow rates are still required. This advantage saves input energy consumption for the hydraulic system, it prevents excessive heat buildup and can also help minimize high pressure safety risks. In this video, we have learned about the function and advantages of a balanced style pilot operated relief valve. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.